First, excuse me, order of action of the planning board. Identity is 
you know, small town. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. Okay. Um, um, so uh, we uh, received an email um, with one withdrawn candidate. So you are the only candidate um, remaining. And um, I, I think, just from my perspective, um, I agree. You know, I think we need to do something about economic development, but in the right areas. Um, and we need to really figure out what that means. Um, but we definitely need to do something to improve our tax base in town. Yeah. Um, because a lot of that burden falls on the homeowners. Um, and I think we all know that uh, ho homes don't gen necessarily generate enough revenue to drive everything. It really is business that we need. Oh. Um, so that's my position. No, and I, I think you, you, obviously you understand where all this was like, you know, I wouldn't have summarized it quite that way, but the three different areas, you know, you got the rural and you got downtown, kind of area that's a little bit unknown. So it sounds like you know Rollins are pretty well and stuff, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> so did you live in Rollinsford for a while? Um, we lived in Rollinsford from 1994 to about 2001. And then when my uncle passed away, uh, we inherited the house. Um, so we've been living here pretty much since he passed. Okay. Um, I, um, I don't think I have any other questions for Brian. Nope, I don't think I have either. Okay. Um, so do we want to make a motion to move forward with an appointment? Okay. Yes. So I'll make a motion to move forward with um, an appointment um, to the planning board for Brian Hebert. Yeah. What's your address? 676 Main Street. 676 Main Street. And I will second that. I won't tell you Aye. Aye. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I think probably it might make sense for you to get in touch with the chair to see if there's any okay. documentation um, that can help you get started. It'll look like there were some online courses and different things. So right. I'll and, I, and I think Caroline might have provided me with some documentation as well. So if I okay. can dig that up, I'll coordinate with you to share it. Perfect. Okay. Great. Yeah, Thanks. we should, we'll get your contact information and stuff too, so I think I have it anyway, but I'll make sure. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for your right. Thank you. Service. Glad to serve. Thanks. So, um, select board appointment. Yep. Next order of business. You want to go first? Um, I do. Uh, I don't want to go first. Um, okay. But I, I kind of I wrote down some thoughts about um, the appointment. Um, so, you know, I, I understand that um, we have two candidates with some good municipal background. Um, and I definitely think um, there is value in that. Um, but my, my thought is that, and I've always felt that the town should run like a business. Um, and I don't feel we're there yet. Um, you know, I think we have to have, um, you know, better defined and consistent processes. Um, and we need to definitely um, look at some more standard practices um, around spending, um, you know, bidding, vetting, um, determining need. So I think that there are definitely areas that we need to improve. Um, and, you know, while I think um, that Jody and Denise's um, municipal experience is really valuable, um, I also feel like now is a good time for an objective, um, fresh perspective on management and finance. Um, you know, while I, I understand that Jack doesn't have municipal background, um, he has um, you know, decades of management experience. Um, Hiring employees, firing employees, um, major financial budgets. Um, so I think there is value in that. Um, so I also think um, it, you know we have a six month period basically um, to choose a direction for the town to. Um, choose a new town administrator, you know, mm -hmm. to vet our needs um, for that person. Um, and I think he could be really helpful with that. Um, so, that's kind of my thought process. 
So I gave it a lot of thought over the weekend and both candidates, I mean all three candidates, the two candidates that serve, it's really tough for me to bear up. But I think the financial experience, large projects that Jack's done and his management background and what he can bring to the table, I think a new perspective is probably good for the town. So I'm going to suggest Jack Boyle for my choice. Um. I, you know, I feel like in terms of the, the lack of municipal experience, um, you know, the, the good part is you have two years on the board, um, and I, you know, have five years on budget, so I you know, feel fairly confident in terms of the budget aspect of it. And we're coming into budget season, um, and it's really a crucial time for us. Um, so I, I feel like with the combination of um, my budget background, you've spent some time with it as well. Um, and your experience on the select board that, um, you know, we probably um, would have to help them along. Um, but we also have the backing of the Municipal Association. And uh, personally, my goal is to bring in at least an interim town administrator. Um, and I feel with that combination of experience that um, we would work um, fine through this upcoming season. So I, I agree that I think Jack would be a good candidate and um, give us a fresh perspective um, and an objective ear about a lot of different aspects of the town, um, how we run, and potentially, you know, how we can move forward. Um, and I say even like considering economic development and um, CIP. Yeah, that's a big one. Yep. Yeah, definitely. All right. So do you nominate him too? Um, so I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion um, to nominate um, John Jack Boyle um, for the select board um, position. For the interim, for the until Miles and Miles. Until, um, is it March? March? I go to say it should be March unless <laughs> something changes right. again. Second, second Tuesday. Second Tuesday, March. Um, yes. And I will second that. Now, is that his name, John Jack? <laughs> well, it, his name is John, but he goes by Jack. And I'll second that all in favor. Aye. Aye. Um, so um, we don't have the ability to swear in either Brian or Jack tonight. Um, however, I would I would encourage Jack to participate participate up at least as an observer. Yep. Um, so he can. Um, so I'd like, I asked everybody for their contact information, and um, everybody sent their contact information. Okay. Um, so we can reach out to him and ask him to join us. We can, I, you know, will explain he has no vote, obviously, yep. but at least you can listen in. Okay. So Brian, um, we will um, need to coordinate a time for you to meet with the town clerk um, to be sworn in. I'm um, well, right across the street, so okay. I can make myself available anytime. <laughs> yeah, I think you can just come over and see and, and just wait here in the set symbol. Okay. okay. You don't need us. I don't think you don't need us to get one. No. Okay. okay. I was going over. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. And um, Jody, thank you for coming in. Um, I, I hope that you will say listen for the budget workshop because yes. I'm sure you'll have some. Um, well, not that we're asking for public input, but, you know, you've had some background, so. Um, why don't I plan to contact and see what Jack can tell us? Jody, I really had to go back and forth out throughout through candidates, and you did really get on the phone, you know, it's, I, you did some, can you could explain. Can I? Yeah, sure. Okay, so, <laughs> do you want to speak out of turn? You made, I, I, in leadership, you have to make the best choice. And Jack's retired, let's be honest. So he has, well, I think he's retired. <laughs> um, he has the most time to give right now, and that is the utmost importance right now because I know what it takes, and I know how many days you guys are going to need to take. So, and I, honestly, that's one thing I feel that yeah. myself, I feel like 
even though maybe I'm putting in seven hours a week, I feel like I'm not dedicating enough time right now. Yeah. Because of falling through the cracks. So. And I was, and even when Caroline was part time, I was doing 20 hours and probably taking off two days a week on average. And I was like on an interim board because Ed had just retired or left and I took his spot. And he had warned us that we were going to need something. So. Um, and that was definitely a consideration as well. Um, you know, I, I, Jack is retired. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he kind of explained that. And yep. I think that, um, I think this next six months is, is going to take you know, quite a bit of time, especially with all the new people us understanding the processes, the budgets, and um, you know, I, I agree with Going for the AIP funds, right? You know, studying those and feel those. Um, yes. I just. How family day go? Did anybody go to family day on Saturday? It was great. Oh, it was the best one yet. Really? The fire they were a little intense. Really? But they're good. I don't know. Just very loud and very close. But but they're That's really cool, good. Right? And the day itself is great. Good. So, uh, day, job well done by day all was of them. Perfect, right? What's that? The day was like perfect. Yeah. Right? Well, it was, yeah, it was. It was warm. pretty warm. <laughs> yeah, but it was very nice. Good. Um, so Does that feel like good participation? I think I liked how they kind of started it a little later. So it started at three. I think that helped either more people just came for this year or it just looked like more people because there was fewer hours it was going on. So it wasn't just like a trickle of people over a six hour period like it had been previously. So yeah, I don't know. How many people were there for fireworks? I don't know, but it was a lot of people. Right down there on the field? Because I, I got yes. home kind of right about when fireworks are going on, and I'm like, what the heck is that noise? <laughs> yeah. Then I realized, oh, yeah, that's right. So thank you, Jody. I appreciate you coming. And You're welcome. I do, too. Anything I can do? Anything? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> um, well, I, I think definitely, um, you know, having feedback about different areas um, would be really useful, you know, public input. Um, anything that, um, actually, I think transfer maybe, station, right? This is just a thought, but in the next budget workshop, maybe we will open it up a bit to public input. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's a good idea. As we kind of like hone down the questions. Yep. Um, so I was thinking that it maybe it would make sense for us to kind of go through, see what the open questions are, and then ask the department heads to come in. Um, in, the, in the next one, yep. And then, so we would have, you know, pretty um, targeted meeting. And, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I already uh, we'll talked about the meeting, but there, well, all three of us actually. But there's, there were a few areas that we talked about. Like, unfortunately, we have to figure out employees' salaries pick up a big part of this. You know, and there's some employees I think we we need to compensate, and others. So we'll talk about all that. One. Um, yep, so, um, actually, I'm just, oh, um, so Jack said he could come in, he was probably going to be about 20 minutes, do we want to take the time to go through? Yeah, why don't I go through it right now, yeah. Okay, um, you guys don't mind just sitting tight for a little bit? This is going to get to the state. Yeah. I think that's, um, and then, th yeah, so that's what Caroline was saying need to be signed. Kim, um, did you get my email? Um, second song. That email from Claudia Brown did not show up in the minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, right, she emailed it to the select board, so I probably need to forward it to you. Okay. Yes. Let me do that. I'll just sit here as well. Um, that was, yeah. I think Carolyn had been maybe forwarding outside emails to you before. Yes, okay. yeah. 
you know, emails and documents, whatever gets included. Okay, if there's a... Um I just found that weird when you went to take questions. Yeah. My birthday, so I'm only 21, 21 this year. When did you go? And December 12, 21, 21. Oh, that's my dad's birthday. What? My dad's birthday. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Yes. So the people give you Christmas presents. Yeah. Well, actually, well, the worst um, part is then we got married on the twenty third. Yeah, that's a busy time of year. Yeah. Um, Paul, I was just um, even though this isn't a sketch regular scheduled public hearing, Allison's here. Mm -hmm. um, did you want to talk about the meeting? I would love to try to figure out a time where we can all meet. Yeah. yeah that'd be Do great. we want to try to schedule something while she's sitting I don't there? see why not. Okay. Why don't you come? Okay. Come okay. Yeah. I mean, I've no like, calendar with me or anything like that. That's but, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I guess, so you wanted to schedule a meeting, Allison, um, for the select, to do like a presentation of your proposed projects? Yeah, and just to talk, because just to make a point to have the other commissioners come, have mm -hmm. Ray come, just because, you know, they might have other things to add beyond what I could say. So, okay. um, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be super formal or anything, but yeah, I did want us to be able to get the ball rolling since mm -hmm. to find out if you guys are in support or leaning that way, what the timeline would be. There are public hearings and yada 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 that would need to be scheduled if um, if you are going to allocate some of the funds to water sewer. So okay, um, I think I need to ha get a better understanding, like a fuller understanding. Do you have a, a, like a, a proposal of projects that you could bring? I got to say this. No, I don't want to speak for you. There's two projects, right? One of them is the now maybe I'm, there's Port one well. the pipe and the other one's the well, right? The Port Those well were pipe. two that I had written initially. I mean, we could put a few others on the list, to be honest, that we could then, if we're going to all talk, we might as well talk about a few of the other ones as well. Um, so, yeah, we can come forth with, um, you know, little bullets or a little table or something. If I know when that meeting is going to be, I'll be happy to give it to you ahead of time. Um, Mm -hmm. Don't know if we're talking about it. Yeah, like next week, two weeks, three weeks, what? So, oh, well, so what's your timing requirement like? Because you said it's budget sensitive, so. Well, it would help. It would definitely help us get some perspective, especially on the sewer side of the projects that are mm -hmm. there. Um, as far as Porter Well goes, we are already talking about moving on it. We would like to be able to use the ARPA funds to support that. We also might be able to have it covered under our asset management grant, but it's just, that's why we want to be able to finally have a chance to um, talk to you guys as a group about that. So, okay. sooner rather than later. Well, I know you obviously have a lot going on, yeah. as do we all. <laughs> so. yeah. no, uh, I'm thinking good. next week. If you can make it next week. Um, I think it depends on where our next budget workshop is because yeah. we have a deadline for on the, the fall, budget on the fall. Let's see. Yes. Um, <coughs> Which is so, the week, right? The 29th? Right, yeah. I mean, does it 
need to be, so we have a regular select board meeting on the 27th. Um, and then we, we have to have the budget ready for the budget committee on the 29th. So that's two days um, after our regular select board meeting. So does it does it really does it need to be next week or could it be? It doesn't need to be next week, no, it's a follow I know I had listened in on a prior meeting. I felt like you guys might have thrown around like the first week of October, but then yeah. I never heard anything, no, so I wasn't sure. Probably. Well so is we next have, week the first of October already? Nope. Is it? No. We have one more week. Okay. Um, but we have the Main Street public hearing on the fourth. Which is what day is that? Okay. Um maybe, and we don't have a regular meeting that week. Maybe we could do um, do an hour with them on uh, that same week. Right. We yeah. Could um, and we, I mean, we could probably do it that Monday if we wanted to. Because I can't imagine it will take that long. Okay. Yeah, that would do that. Because okay. yeah, we normally meet on Tuesdays, so I'd rather avoid Tuesdays if we can. Yeah, but, do um, that the fourth. Because I think it's going to be a relatively short meeting with them. I can't imagine. I mean, they've <laughs> kind of gone be. over quite a lot. Right, so right. so um, I think. Um, so the public hearing is scheduled for 6 o'clock. I probably wouldn't plan to be here any earlier than 7. Well, not, but... Um, I, right, yeah. We can be prepared. I'm going to say... And if we have to listen, I mean... Yeah, I'm going to say... Um, I don't see the public meeting going that long because we've had two of them now. We discussed it. Right. Unless somebody pops up that surprises us, I don't see any long debates about it. Okay. All right. Do you want to plan that? So, uh, that right, anytime after yeah. six thirty. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That sounds good. Can I? Can I have a piece of paper? That's <laughs> down. I have a sure. piece of paper. There's like a back of a piece of paper. Thank you. And I may. So Ray. Um. I may hit up Ray a few questions. See what he knows about stormwater and you know a few other things too. Yep. So, just on the flip side, the engineer here Friday, come up with email. J, um, J, yeah, it was someone from, it wasn't Jay Stevens, it was a structural guy that came, but I think Chuck has a quick report, the guy said that you know, it's going to be a little bit of 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 so. Okay. All right. Um, so. So that that's going to be noticed as um, a meeting, a select board meeting with the rock, um, the water and sewer district for aqua for, for the aqua. discussion of. Okay. I thought it was aqua. 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 Um, so this is the one. Oh, sure. And you sign the text. Um, Not yet. Okay. Good. I was just reading through this to make sure everything's legit. Is a proposal for the fire system. It's um, probably. This is just the. Uh, over there. Yep. Yeah. That's fine on both sides. Just one signature? Yeah. Okay. Same with uh, that. So that's all done. Do you want to check?
amend the um, the current proposed budget um, to um, Jody, Denise, and um, Jack. Good. Um, so they would all have a chance to review it in the public record. Yep. Um, I think probably we need to decide if it makes sense to um, allow for some public input in the event that Jack has questions. Um, I don't have any objection to no, that. No, I don't either. Obviously, you know, can't make the recommendations, but... Right. Um, Thank you, Jack. Hey, how are you? Hello, everyone. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I think. I think. Congratulations, Congratulations. Thank you. So, um, we decided to wait for you to start. Okay, um, good. And we also call diligently um, signing checks. Can I have a coffee to buy? Yes. Thank you. We'll let him finish that. Um, so, um, Paul and I kind of, you, so you can't, um, you, we agreed that you could questions mm -hmm. until you're sworn in, um, which you can do tomorrow at the town clerk's office. Um, obviously, um, you can't like make recommendations or make decisions, but, um, but you can certainly ask questions. Um, one of the things that um, Paul and I talked about before you got here was, I think it might be for us to kind of go through look at the budgets for the various departments, um, form a list of questions for them, and then have them come in for those questions um, in the next meeting, uh, which will probably be uh, next week. Okay. Well, I say next week. It has to be... <laughs> next week's... <laughs> we have to have this budget. Do you normally meet on Monday? Yes. Um, yes. I mean, that does, that's not a definite if it doesn't work. I don't feel it matters. Yep. We'll do Monday. The only issue we have is this: the budget. We really should deliver a budget to the budget committee by the 29th. Um, so, so we need to make we need to also make modifications um, to the budget. What we saw. Mm -hmm. um, if if we make modifications, that's going to be done by the 29th. So we have a regular select board meeting on the 27th. Which is um, next Monday. Mm -hmm. Do we try to piggyback um, our questions for the proposed budget onto that? It's 27 next Monday, right? Um, yes. Yes, I'm all right there. Okay. Because, yeah, we're running out of days, unfortunately. So, Basically, real quick check, what we do is we the budget, we propose to the budget committee, and then they go through it all, and then they make recommendations, but in the final, in the final, final picture, it's still the select board who appropriates the budget money. You know, they, the, you know, so we, we try to work, but we, we, we report to them, they don't report to us, right? Well... We, the opposite. we recommend a budget to them. Yeah, to them. Well, we have, okay. I mean, it's not really a, a control who has more power. Mm -hmm. We try to work as close as we can with them, but when all is final said and done, it's the select board member, select board members who appropriate the mon money where we go fit. You know, if there's a $2.3 million budget, then we're the ones that appropriate where it, where it should go. And we try to follow to the best, the best we can in the budget. I mean, we've worked pretty close lately with them. Last year, there was some debate. Um, I think they actually recommended that we cut the budget, which we did. Um, so, so the budget that we present to them, they can have their own recommendations. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and I think it reads that way on the warrant. It can read that way on the warrant as well. The select board recommends or doesn't recommend, and the budget committee can recommend or not recommend. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't always have to be in agreement, but I think you know they try to work pretty hard to find a middle ground. Um, I, I, and so I really wasn't involved with the budget last year, and I know that they went through the process of um, Determining how to kind of level fund the budget was that a decision or was that um, a budget committee decision? It was really more 
in my opinion, as well. It's more the budget committee okay. who went with the default budget, and then we accepted it. We accepted uh, it. Actually, it's the budget committee's budget that goes to the public. Right, right. But the select board can make recommendations or not. Right. You, there's supposed to be a column for the select board, but the budget that the the budget committee recommends, mm -hmm. if it's di if it's different or if it, even if it's the same, is what goes to the public and is what's on the warrant. Mm -hmm. um, so one one of the things I have to say that one of the things that Miles said um, while he was still with the committee, um, he when he asked the basically the. I don't want to say the mandate, but the request to the departments was to level fund again mm -hmm. this year. Yes. Um, and I feel like it went exactly opposite of that. Um, that every department basically put in their wish list this year. Um, because they're the only department that came in level um, of the was major the departments was police. Um, and then the rest of the departments all have, you know, some percentage increase. Um, yep, and a few of the departments, you know, they kind of said in the, what they were presenting that, you know, because they were level funded this year, they feel like they should do this. But I, I agree that when we go through the budget, we got to try to keep those level funded. Can I ask a question here? Mm -hmm. yes, Just, because I don't know. Can we go in and ask the uh, heads of the departments to give us what's urgently needed and what's our normal flow and then what's the wish list on, on these items? Yes, we can. Yes, That's why. So what we're want. so what we're doing now is we're gonna you know we're going for the budget and we're kind of I guess we're kind of putting the cart before the horse right now because we're questioning what they're doing. Then we're gonna have them come in and All give right. us give us an explanation of what the budget is. Where I guess in retrospect, if they would have done if they presided it that way, at least we know where we. See that? Well, they, we they, know they, where they, to kind of. They that, said that, this is the way. I'm, I'm, this, I'm, that's the way I look. I, I look at it like these are things we urgently need to do. These are things that kind of flow in the business. And then they have the wish list. Right. And we should be evaluating those because we can't do everything. Right. And we need to do the evaluate, not the wish list, but what's, what keeps business flowing. Right. So, um, and that's why I said maybe it makes sense for us to put our heads down. Look at what, where the increases are in, yep. in the departments. And then have them explain why. And, the, and say, and then ask the questions maybe that Jack is looking for is, you know, what's the minimum we need What's your wish list, and where's where can we operate comfortably? Um, so I think you know if we look at, and I think I've looked at this budget. The majority of the increases are in salary this year. Yeah, and you know what? What I'd like to like, I'm just going to pick on like, we'll say transfer station. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to see is really that the amount of money we're giving to the personnel there is not that big a. Amount. So you, you give the money to the employees, but then you say to Ed or George, okay, so what part of this can you cut to afford to employees to get whatever, two bucks more an hour or something like that? Yeah. Right. I, that's I, I want to see all, our, that all our employees that I feel, because of what has happened with jobs in the last couple of years, I believe a lot of my town employees are underpaid. You know, all you got to do is go to the transfer station and see the service you get there. And I know you could argue, well, the garbage, you know, the garbage attendants, you know, how much money should you get? But, you know, when they give the taxpayers that level of service, that's worth an extra buck or two, in my opinion. For something like yeah. So I made a couple calls last week. Um, I called South Berwick and I did call um, Berwick. I'm sure they paid a lot more than I guess. Well, Berwick was 14 oh. um, and South Berwick was 18. Hmm. Um, so I think even at their current rate, it's a little under. Um, and actually, Ed Walsh, the transfer station manager, provided us with some local salary comparisons. Um, so I, I don't think <coughs> that that moving them from 13 to maybe a dollar more an hour is, you know, a huge it's task. Right, um, I agree. But one of the problems I have is we don't have a lot of market data on all of the salary requests that are being made. Um, I'm just bringing up transfer station. I, I'm not saying everybody else is um, as fond of, but I'm just picking transfer because right. they make little money. If you really look at three or four employees for a couple bucks more an hour, it's, it's small to the town. But then there's other things, the big items that we got, right. like we should start going through and saying. Sure. Let's do it. Let, I mean, let's just and let's, kind of look at these. Um, 
And yeah, Jack, that's exactly what we're looking for you. Looking from you is um, an outside, an outside thought. Mm -hmm. um, your financial experience and how you handle things going forward. So, um, so as I look at it, so just from the executive office, um, you know, the bookkeeper um, request is three percent. Um, you know, I, I kind of, I've given some thought to an approach for this, and I think last year they got one or two percent, maybe. Um, and I, I get that we're trying to get closer to market. Um, so, you know, maybe my my position is maybe we could entertain three percent. Um, but I have caveats, and that is job descriptions. You know, um, the performance um, reviews are documented as part of the personnel policy. We don't do that. so. I'm not 100% adverse to giving um, in some increase this year, but I think we need to have, um, you know, we need to have them take some ownership of it as well. I see what you're saying. So they, you, you kind of have them kind of summarize what they do well, as their job description, and then we as a board yeah. read it through and finalize it, and then it becomes a PD. It becomes a, basically their job description. Well, and I asked Seth Berwick how they handle it if they have job descriptions. She said that um, most of the positions do, and for those that they don't, they describe it at the time of hire. So if they have to hire somebody, then they make sure it's described. Um, so that's one of my things. And then the other thing, a couple other things I have is, um, you know, we've gotten some um, comparative wage salary. Um, I got a very um, extensive one from the police department. I think John had gotten it from somewhere else, but it's basically the whole state, all mm -hmm. positions. I think you might have seen it, it was in the email. Yeah, it's real so, low on that. But. Yeah. So um, are these market adjustments, or are they performance adjustments? Because there's a big they're difference. They're not performance. Huh? They're not performance. It's market. Um, if they're asking for market. Um, what we typically have done in the past is cost of living adjustments. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, uh, what I would con I would consider if we were to do something at more of a cost of living adjustment mm -hmm. with contingencies. Um, the other thing um, that I've asked for for a really long time and we haven't seen yet is um, the compensation formulas for fire. Um, that would be one of the things I really want to see as part of um, approving um, increases this year. Um, it's still very ambiguous. We have. We don't really have any understanding. I think Carolyn is going to look for it, but I don't have time to find it. Um, so we have no idea how they're compensated. Um, so that would be something else I'd want to know. And we're doing all the talking, so I'll stop. No, 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 but it's on the point system. Um, and I, I know we go round and round this, but I could have swore that we just talked to the chief not too long ago, and mm -hmm. you said you provided all that information. Um, yes. Carolyn is going to look for it, but we, I still haven't seen it. So, All right, so, yeah. so I haven't seen it. That. So I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. But right. so the chief can probably present it. Oh, it it may have been presented. We just haven't got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my kind of initial thought. They get paid per call, right? Is that how it goes? Yeah, it's points. Like points. Some sort of point system. And it's oh. it's, it's complicated where I don't know, like a lieutenant and you get called. I'm just gonna make something up that you get nine points. But if you're like a regular. Five and you might only get four points. Yeah. So it's, it, that's how it's. Anybody with goal achieve. Are you okay with taking a little bit of public input? Not at all. You're not okay? Uh, no, I'm not at all. I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> okay. All right. It seems like Jody um, Char has. Charlie probably knows the, mo okay. the most. I mean, we're, we're going to ask for the real information, anyways, but if. Um, usually, and a lieutenant usually gets it like three points. And. A patrol, uh, the the first timer gets one point, and the three points is only for the first hour. After that, it goes down. I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're right now. Okay. So, um, so thank you. And it's six really points for the point. captain, for the chief. The assistant gets five. He can answer those. But chief, um, chief isn't getting no, points no. anymore. No, I know that, but. No um, hey. So, anyways, that's kind Hello. of. Hello, Jack Boyle. Oh. You know me, Jack. I know. You've been to my house many times. Yes, I have. Hey, Sean. Hey, Jack. Jack Well. 
Sean Glenn, nice to meet you. Um, right, so, that's, that's kind of my random thing. But that, no, I agree um, with all of this. You know, so on the spot, it's over on the tangent, you know, so like you're talking about, let's say all employees are going to get a 1% cost of living, but then some of the next percentage would be on the phone. Um, well, I think I think we need to kind of talk a little bit more right. as we look through the different items and requests to determine what makes sense, um, because it may vary from department to department um, what makes sense. Um, so, anyways, um, maybe we can just kind of go through. so. I think my only so as I look through the executive office. Um, it's it's a pretty level budget, with that one exception. Um, and and honestly, based on what I just said, I don't have a real issue with that three um, percent. Not really. Jack, do you have any comment? Well, no. so you're certainly welcome to comment. No, I don't. I, I don't think I know enough to comment. Okay. All right. So um, the the town Election. the town clerk. Um, that is more concerning to me, um, for, for a couple reasons. Are you running an election there? Yep, election registration. Yeah, 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 sure. um, um, for a couple reasons, one being, uh, we have, um, a very new town clerk, um, that doesn't necessarily have the years of expertise our last town clerk had, um, started at, a, um, a rate the same or higher. So um, that's concerning to me, and also, um, I, I think you know, the level of experience um, has to be factored in as well. So that's just a concern. No, I, I um, you know, I thought the same thing when the previous town clerk was, you know, whatever, 14, 18 years of experience, and then, I mean, it's good that we had a town clerk come in and be able to take over. It's good we could have a person come in and take over. Feeling fairly well, but maybe another year or two experience before there's a fairly good raise. Um, what, what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, and, and market data. You know, um, I think if we do a little bit of research in the next, you know, in the next six months or so to determine what the market is doing, especially for different levels of expertise, um, then we'll have a better idea about a reasonable range for that. Did he raise? Was there, is there raises in the strike in two for the election? Um, that's because we have more elections. Well, was it was it? Oh, uh, up to two, or was it the same five hundred from last year? No, so last year was three, and then this year, um, so that looks right to me. One hundred, and about clerk wages are three times. So the, um, it looks like there's not an increase in the amount, just the increase in elections. Um, same thing with all the elections. So I think um, for me, the, you know, again, that the whole budget is is pretty level. Like I think in terms of what Jack is saying about needs versus wants. Um, you know, so your bare minimum, what you need to operate, and what your wish list is. I don't think there's anything in that budget other than the salary increase that's kind of a wish list. Any comments, Paul? No, I agree. There's not much really you can do. There's not much to take out. Right. Except for the yeah. Okay. Um, tax collector. Uh, I, I know that's a, there's an open question about um, policy on that. Um, but I don't necessarily think that that negates a reason to, if we agree to do an across the board um, increase, then I don't necessarily think that that position should be negated just because we have an open question about policy. I know you can't really speak to that, Paul. Paul needs to abstain from Some of it. that. No, no, a lot of it. I mean, on right. any type of raise or anything like that. Right. I mean, I can sit there as a citizen and talk about, you know, certain things. Yeah. So, so in um, aspects of the tax collector, right. pluses and bonuses. Right, so he has to recuse himself um, from, well, definitely voting. 
um, on that because his wife is the tax collector. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Um, so that's um, the only thing comment I have to make about that. Um, the only comment, so the only comment I'll make about the tax collector though is, it was originally budgeted for 20 hours. That's it. And what is it now? She does. She's out. She was allocated 20 hours, but she does it 16. So there's no benefits paid for her. So if you look at all the bonuses of the tax collector, it's quite. It's quite it's quite appealing to the town to have, you know, no benefits, 16 and 20, 20. You, can, you guys can look for the salaries I'm talking about, but I'll leave it at that. Okay. All right. Um, so revaluation looks uh, level. Um, personnel administration looks level until we get new rates, which come in October, Jack. Um, for insurance? Yeah, for insurances. Um, I think you can get that, too. October? Yeah, that's when... So, um, so I have to guess if we have to provide this budget to the budget committee in September, it, we, it just has to be with the caveat that that could change because of the insurance. Bill. So, is is this for all employees? Yes. So everybody's on the dental plan, and everybody has no. Nope. Mm -hmm. no. We have no dental right now. Um, that was actually one of the things that oh, Jody, we'll Jody was hoping to recommend. Okay. I don't think she's going to give up that battle either. So, personal administration is level with that. Um, yeah, um, although I don't know, I don't know that we got any information on what the change was. Taxes and okay. Although, I mean, it's not significant. It's a $216 difference. It is. Not worth the time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Buildings. Mm -hmm. um, so, the facilities director um, is, it's, um, it was approved. Um, by the town, but we haven't yet um, filled that position. We're still trying to um, determine what that position means, what credentials, um, well, what, this is basically a job description. We need a job description of what this person what is. What do they do? Um, the expectation is basically to coordinate the maintenance of this building. Um, to manage all, town all, town town all town buildings. All town buildings. All town buildings. Okay. Um, a lot of town buildings, but you know, George has said that he's pretty comfortable maintaining his building. So, so is this a full time job? No, no, it's like, I go to say. I, I think it's only 12 hours a week. No, I was going to say even less than that. <coughs> Do you remember something? Six hours a week, 30 hours. Six hours a week? $30 an hour is okay. what it's budgeted for. Thanks, Sean. I just want to turn in the air. So we will. Can I ask one question, Paul? So, can I ask a question? Me. I know you guys are going through the budget. Do we have work done? Yeah, I, I was actually going to suggest that. Yeah, absolutely. We should have some and stuff I want to take care of. And, you know, not to mess up your. Well, we haven't planned this is a budget work. I, I know, but I got some stuff to get uh, submitted.
So they've been doing drive-through lunch kind of fundraising. And they did very, very well in one that we did a couple months ago. We didn't have to be back in the day in front of But it just didn't. They didn't lose any money, but they didn't make any more. I missed the breakfast. Those were good. I, I hear it all the time. <laughs> I really do. But, uh, Sorry, right? Until right. they get some things cleaned up health-wise, uh, yeah. and the people in the building, I've got three POs um, that I want to get squared away so we can not make the vendors have to wait any longer. Uh, the first one I have is two. It's to uh, W.D. Perkins Fire Pump Specialists. And what it is for is for the annual NFPA qualification for the fire pump test. Um, all you should probably be aware is you can now bring you on board every year. Our fire trucks have to be tested and certified to be NFPA standards. We have to do it. No way to cut any out of We piggyback with someone who is fire. I have two pumps that go in here, they go through their testing and pass or fail. They fail, of course, now the monetary thing that both of our trucks pass. Just out of curiosity, I'm just curious if testing is like gallons per minute. All of it. How low? How high? Is there a certain height that has to go to? Like 60 feet or whatever? Yeah. I, I, just just I can bring you in all the, the, all the, the, the three sets of paperwork <laughs> that go with it, and you can see all the numbers. But it's, Water in, water out for a certain amount of time, certain pressures, and how long that that stuff takes to be the end of the case. I'm just curious. Yeah. Yep. No, I have regular yep. paperwork that I keep on file with all the numbers. You can sit there and read it and go Google on it. There's a lot of stuff that has to be met for these trucks to be certified motor state. So they both pass uh, with no additional uh, issues. And as I said, we split it with Summersworth, so we spent a, a day over there doing two vehicles. Uh, and the total is $750. That will come out of the emergency equipment testing line, which we haven't spent any money on it yet, so we can really cover that in cost. Okay. Uh, I have the invoice here, and here's the purpose of it. So, I'll move forward to your 2017 for W.E. Perkins for the model $715. Second. I'll reserve the discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You didn't expect any fun. Uh, I didn't anticipate it at all. I'm going to on that one. I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> Second one, 2018, to Positive Relations Incorporated for the amount of $740.85. In our budget, we have a line item for fire prevention education. That's what this is for. It's $750 is a line item. Uh, <laughs> Captain Knowles runs this every year. We spend one day, full day in the grade school doing education for all the kids in the grade school. There's also materials in here should uh, the library uses some of it. We have the three kids that would uh, wish us to go and do fire prevention education. That's what we do. Uh, I have the invoice for that, and this is for the materials needed hand out and educate the youth in the community. Okay. I'll move forward. Yeah. I'll move forward. PO2018 for positive pro... What was that? Positive promotions. Positive promotions for $140.35. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. But that's for all the educational material. There's a lot of reading stuff, a lot of stuff that the kids like under the, you know, blown and snestles and, and all that other kind of stuff. But we So I can remember, I'm going way back to all the grade school and we used to buy them and come in and they give us fire prevention. Back then they used to give us those pots. I can't know what they're called. Pot stickers. Pot finders. Thank you. Yeah. Those are all well and good, but we don't give them out anymore. They're not advocated because people put them in their houses, then they move away and they get fire in the house. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, there's pot finders. We need to go up there and get the kids. There's no kids there anymore. Yeah. Oh. So it's like false advertising and just puts guys in jeopardy yeah. and don't need to be. So that's for that one. Third one I have is 2019. It's going to be paid off to C&J. Um, 
It's for our, they perform our annual vehicle inspections. We have one vehicle left that's done and they couldn't get to it today. They've done the five other vehicles. They have all passed. And we were sitting at, what was it, $790 or so? Yep, $789.93. And we're going to finish the last vehicle. So I don't have the exact invoice from them, but we're anticipating it's going to be right around $1,000. So when they finally get the other vehicle to us, give me the invoice, I'll submit the invoice. But for now, I want to get the PO done so that we can understand what the money's going to be. Can't wait till Monday when we have a final number? Because we're meeting again Monday. Next week, Monday? Yeah. Okay. Wait till Monday to get the final number. I just want to put it in today because I don't understand. It's like signing a blank check. Oh, I understand. I don't want to go with all that stuff. <laughs> I do. But there's a lot of these times when we put these in, I've been instructed in the past. Even though you do not have the exact number, exactly what the invoice is, yeah. right? put the stuff in, get it done, get it going through the process, and then they adjust it afterwards. So if you want something, something different, and wait every time that I have an invoice to submit it to you, I'll do that. But mm -hmm. I've been instructed sometimes to get in and get the process going. So are they, are they not holding on doing the inspection about this? No, they're going to do the last inspection. They want to do it today, but they could. Okay. They told us they would do it tomorrow. So we'll get our vehicle back tomorrow. Um, but we do have the, uh, John just gave us the update number. Yeah. We're anticipating it to stay under this number. I mean, do we want to put that number on there and then modify it on Monday and have a final number? We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I understand I mean, the blank check number. Like I said, as in the past, they wanted to get the system, get this started through the system. Because I didn't know, it. even if I had something that changed, all right, here's your invoice. And I brought it in before, but it's actually gone down. I, and I think George did that a couple of weeks ago where he, he modified the existing PO. So if you want to put the current number and then we'll modify and, it. And what I've done is I've put it in here for $1,000 and then once we get the rest of it, we'll just want to come. Because I know it's coming. Okay. This will come out of the vehicle repair line also. And again, this, uh, we checked that with the $7,000 and then we want to spend about 1000 at this point. So this will come out of that one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mr. Trunchy. No problem. Well, we have to accept uh, that as the one nine. seven, or is it seven eighty nine? No, one thousand dollars. Oh, okay, up to one thousand dollars. So I'll make a motion um, to accept PO you two know, zero one nine um, for up to one thousand dollars for seeing the inspections. And I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, while I'm thinking about this kind of, you know, I'm going to be aware of it. I'm going to get I'm not even aware of it yet, but um, the situation came up with registration. Um, I have a Okay. So, I'm going to ask you to do that. Okay. So, I talked to Gary about the president. I'm going to call him tomorrow to see if there's any resolution on this. thinking about giving Mr. Job a call, but I want you to call to get all the facts. But, you know, the logistics are quick. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Um, that they're state, the state owned buses? Yes. Okay. It's always been that way in the past. Kate understood the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should maybe talk more about that mm -hmm. after. Um, yes, we will. Yeah, we should, so we don't get drunk. So you're, you're not accepting? That's all the field they have. Okay. You asked me a question about when I went through the pump test and anticipated anything not passing. Two so, quick question. Yes. I just, I just want to make sure that the truck we're talking about, this all the that was just. Fixed last year, right? Okay, I just I want to make sure. So now it's running the older engine. It's running great now. We had the older engine. It made it through its pump test. It was fine. Yep. It was being used the other day during the thin one fun day. And I've been in here before, and I know you heard me discuss it. As old as the truck is, we're starting to have a lot of problems with decay and the pipes and the plumbing. and the issues that way. And the fleets and whatnot. There's a shutoff valve in the back of the truck, which is a direct fill into the tank. Built the truck as we had needed. Well, that, as all the rest of them had, sheared off the other day. Plug the pipes that feed that had decayed down to nothing and just fell right off. Okay. So the truck is basically, as of today, is out of service. It's sitting at the fire station now, all taken apart. Probably the equipment is off of it. Uh, I got a hold of that W. Perkins company, who's been on one of those POs to do repairs. They came up today and took it all apart. And hopefully we'll get it back in service tomorrow. 
But again, it's because the truck's going on 22 years old, all that interior plumbing, that's 22 years of water decay, iron and manganese and everything. It's heat melt plumbing. It's the third time, once a year in the last three years, the truck has had a failure to this issue. And it's not going to go away. It's going to continue. Oh, we just keep replacing parts. There's a one valve that broke, and when they took it off, it's on the back of the truck. There's two other big valves that sit higher than that. With everything wide open, we're having to replace the other two pieces of plumbing that are up in that area. There's nothing wrong with it, other than the fact that it's had 22 years of wear on it. Rather than destroy this truck like it is now, if you wouldn't look at it, you'd be amazed at how much it's taken apart. While it's apart, they can destroy it, they're going to repair it. They're going to repair the plumbing to the other two. So basically, the whole back of the truck will be redone. Because what will happen, we'll put this in, we'll go use the truck in a month, and the other one's going to pay. So what are we looking at? I don't know. Why? It's 110 hours labor rate. Today they showed up with two guys that are probably at the station for five hours. I'm thinking it's easily going to be a couple of grand cases. I may mean, come under that, I do not know. But I know the labor rate, I know how they went in today, so we'll see. They took the pieces they needed back, they were manufacturing and making new equipment to put back on the truck. Anticipate they may be able to come back, put it together quickly, and whatever shop charges they have. But I'm hoping there's two grand, but I'm guessing it. Is, um, is the truck running well? Truck is running okay. Well, is relative term with this truck. It's old. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had this discussion like me. But you're still running. This is how efficient are we doing, right? I mean, I'm the same with this truck. So, I just wanted to give you that information. There's still better than what we say, four grand. We, we looked at the repair line today, so we knew where we were. Even if we went over, we would have to go over because the truck needs to be in service and we find the money someplace else. But I think there's still going to be enough to do the new door repair line to take care of this. I don't want to do else. So, mm -hmm. I don't want to ask a dumb question. You guys just have one. How many, do you have more than one tank of truck? One. That, that's the only tank of truck, right? Yeah, this is a big one with the black and tank in the back. And this it's is kind of it's kind of unique to this area. What it, this this truck? Well, it kind of was. This truck was bought and uh, and manufactured in the cheap molds. Design and the way you wanted to build it was called the pumper tanker. It carries fifteen hundred gallons of water, which is a very large amount. It's about twice the amount that a normal fire truck would carry. Normal fire trucks are about seven hundred fifty gallons. He wanted this because there's no water in three quarters of this town. So we needed this as a way to get water. And by pumper and the tanker, what I need is on the two sides of the rear, it has a valve and we can slide up, open one valve and dump the whole tank in a minute, and then go find more water. That's the way you wanted it in some because you had to truck the water in from where we were going. This truck was in service before the tanker. So when we got the tanker, which is 3,000 gallons, it serves the same purpose, but we get more volume, we get more use out of it. This truck is just it's reaching its, its useful life. Is what we're getting. Can I just clarify one thing? Go right ahead. Last year, the big repairs that you're thinking about were the tank truck. So that was the tank truck had the bubble in the tank. Yeah. We replaced the whole pump. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we also do a bunch of more to engine one. We had to replace the exhaust. Had to put new tires on it. Mm -hmm. We had two right. other. That's right. Pipes that rotted out. Yep. I think the important thing to understand is, is so far it's all been what I'll call external pipes outside. The problem is if the if the pipes outside look like that, the ones in the pump probably also look like that, and that's where your major money is going to be. Right. You have to take Just the whole the, pump yeah, out. Yeah, well, yeah, no, it's right. coming very, it's coming very, very crystal clear. And Sean, thanks for bringing so. Just so you know, last year. Yeah, just nothing more brand, but when they went to get, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they used to get the inspection done by Dolan, and they did it for X amount of years. When they went to CMJ, there were some problems found that maybe should have been caught earlier in Dolan. So, what, I don't, can't make numbers for but what they thought might have been a thousand, and it would be like a four grand for that truck. Ties and the brakes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, thanks for bringing that up. I remember that. Yeah. So, well, the so I kind of made a joke just the other day. I can't remember who it was when we got to get the guy to get registrations. I'm like, well, I'm going to just get a registration class <laughs> and not more. I can't remember who it was here. Because you were coming back last weekend? He probably had yeah. shuttle on the back yeah, yeah, yeah. all weekend. Yeah. 
Yeah. But not to confuse you, like John said, the tanker last year was the one with the big problem. That's been fixed. Basically what happened with the tanker, it's 17 years old. The pump, it had a bulge in the tank. So they were up here servicing the pump, and they found a lot of issues with that. When they found the bulge in the tank, uh, they stopped working because it was unsafe for the guy to the work. So we had to basically send it back to Greenwood, which is up in Scarborough, or, or, or fix the tank, because it has a lifetime warranty. While they were doing that, the pump itself had rotted through, so there was all kinds of pinhole leaks in the pump. No way to fix that. It had to be replaced. So the pump was replaced, the tank was fixed, and all the plumbing was replaced. So basically, on the tanker, all that internal pump stuff is brand new. You should never have a problem with that. Um, that's what we're starting to see now with MG1, the large white part. As Sean just said, we're getting all the external stuff that's now starting to rock and to break. Pump inside is probably not that far away. It was 20, almost $30,000 last year worth of work to put the tanker back in the show. This would be exorbitantly more than that because it's a bigger pump. It's a, a pump in the tank is small, it's 500 BPM, very tiny. It's not very efficient for anything other than hauling water. Don't want to fight fire with it because it doesn't give you enough pressure or volume on the hose. The pump in this engine is 1500 GPM, three times the size. So we continue to have these issues. Um, we never had the maintenance program for some of these trucks for a while was a little deficient. I stepped that up now. We get them annually. Not only the pump testing has to be done, but I've got a company that comes up and annually services these things now. And I'm looking trying to prevention so we can prolong the life of this. It's something that we didn't have in the past, but we've been picking that up the last couple of years. Um, they're staying on top of the course as best we can. So, but as a rookie, no, that, that, that one is on the shelf for another day or two. Um, thanks, Will. I don't know who all you guys are, but thanks for the great volunteer for the other day, too. I'm sure there's some of you guys are done. So thanks. I got home kind of late, late with fireworks on that day. You were fireworks? No, I, well, I did you get home. Did you? They were pretty good. They were, they were awesome. They were very good show. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was really good. The finale was amazing. Hmm. Uh, that's all the business on, on the PO side of things that I need to take care of. Um, Sean has some information. I don't care if you want back to your budget workshop. Mm -hmm. Did you have any of What's yeah, is it something that needs to be addressed at this meeting, though? No, not per se. It's uh, something that you guys have requested about the interact system and whatnot. If you want to have us come back on Monday night, we can do that. You guys can get back into what you're doing. Well, that's the agenda. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So can you plan for that on Monday, Sean? Yeah, so, so this was specific to the budget stop in the CIP. So I didn't know if that's oh, why you uh, it specifically yeah. invited us for tonight. Um, well, no. So what we agreed on currently in the meeting is we would try to go through this and put together all our questions for the various departments yeah. and then bring you guys back into the next meeting. Okay. And I think it looks like it's going to be next Monday. We're yeah. going to um, try to tackle those questions. We're going to need to because it's like two or three days later than the question. Budget <laughs> oh, I understand. You know, I so know that's what you're know, sure. tonight, but I wanted to get those things right. We'll yeah, talk about it. We'll definitely talk about it. Yeah. 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 So that's if fine. you want to plan um, anything you want to discuss about that too, um, feel free to shoot us an email um, as well. Yeah. Actually, just we'll have an open discussion about it. I'll <laughs> <laughs> the questions. I'm with that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Um, I started a spreadsheet um, of questions that we might want to ask the different departments. So if you guys have something particular, I'll be the note taker. Um, oh, so we're on facilities director. Um, so, so where we are kind of with that, Jack, is we don't really have a concrete description of what the responsibilities are and what the um, certifications we want. Um, so we put that together. Well, we do with the town administrator, I think. I mean, it really is it, on us. A, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of, so I've done, I've made a couple calls about um, 
annual contract services to make sure our systems are at least being maintained. Um, we're still waiting on the um, PDAGNUM contract. Um, and then I made a note just to see, to try to figure out. I know Townsend does there, but you have to be one of their customers. So mm -hmm. I don't know if they would do, they probably will service the system um, outside of the contract. But, um, so I can investigate that further. And then Martell recently came in and did um, a, a number of plumbing projects for the town. And that's done and waiting for uh, Tom Clark, our building inspector, to just um, inspect it and make sure it meets our um, expectations and then we'll pay that off. So, so I don't want to say one of them. My concern of Kyra facilities manager for six eight six hours a week is the only building I mean fire department has gone through a lot of renovations. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's at the point where it's completely done but a lot has been done there. Yeah. Town garages, in my opinion, need very little maintenance and I think George and Ed handle those two those two buildings just fine. So the only real building we're talking about so the other thing we may want to look at instead of possibly having a, you know, a six hour week position is, is some kind of service that does How many Yeah. Yeah. Well they come in yeah, no. You know, it's like I'm trying to think of like not a contract, but someone that, you know, they come in and they assess the bill and they say basically this is what you're gonna need in the next couple of years and they're able to Look at stuff and tell us what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. Basically, that type of service, as opposed to someone weekly. I just, I got a feeling that if you hire someone weekly, they're not going to go up. This is a perfect example. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and they may have been busy for two or three months, but I can't see keeping keep someone busy for a whole year doing this weekly. I agree. But I also believe, you know, I believe the town administrator was right about. There's certain things in this building, I don't think it's fear or right janitor or talk about the things and stuff like that. So it's either to be that's the sort of two senses. For, I know you've been looking at some contract services that might do something like that. But we didn't really consider when we just said that last maybe a property maintenance service. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The building maintenance service. Maybe. Right. So we have to do a little research on that and what they offer the services. Um, I, I, I feel like a lot can be addressed um, on the annual contracts and service contracts, but there are things like in the building, you know, technically Tom Park could look at this building and assess it as well, but we have to get them. Um, you know, to be in a position where he would want to take that on as a responsibility, and how does that change his job? So, so we haven't really moved on the facilities director because there are open questions. Mm -hmm. um, so that's well, we're, we're, we're going to do some. We're going to do something with those is. dollars. Something yes. with those dollars. Sewer. Um, so just a quick update on that, and I'm not the person to talk about it, Allison's gone. But they changed us to meter usage, and we weren't being metered before, as I understand it. So there is some pretty significant there changes. There is. It's high, a lot of high fees um, to people. But that's nothing we have any power in. No, we don't. I think, um, and I'm going to ask you something, but, um, we weren't being metered before, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, and now they have yeah, so, yeah. so, so it's, uh, are you guys, all three of you guys on the water? No, no, no. Well, none no, of you are? No. It's, it's, it's gone up quite a bit. But that's out of our, for better words, sort of out of, out of our jurisdiction, but it's still the town. So it's, right. it falls out of the jurisdiction, but yet it but we could get a report from them, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Can you explain it to us? Jimmy, yeah. did you have something? Yeah. The, the water budget is the water budget, and 
it comes in our town report, but it is actually the water residents that fund that. It, it, right. So the PM for the water district actually funds. So all the buildings. they have their own vote. They have. That's why they have their own. Um, commissioners. commissioners, thank you. Yeah. So it shows up in our budget. The mo that money is not raised by taxation, it's raised by the fees of okay. 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 I don't have any other concerns in the, well, I say that in the next week. Um, actually, so electricity. So we do have a concern um, that we don't have any money budgeted for fire station maintenance. Do you want to still get engaged? On um, line number 92. Um, so that, Is that you could be able to pull it in there? Um, I, I think we probably need to have that conversation with them. Um, so let's, put, let's put that in the question. Um, yeah, so the open question, the ones that I think yellow are open questions, and she did that on purpose. So. Um, same thing with transport station. Um, So I think those are of lengths that need to get filled in. Okay. Cemetery is going to void the wall. Yeah, I think we probably need to talk to Mark about that's um, there's no money um, proposed for so cemeteries this year. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was it? What was it for? The cemetery? On the cemetery. It's 19, oh, 19,050. It's probably what would be this year. <coughs> so it might be like three hundred or four hundred dollars more a year, so it's gonna like Oh right. He did propose it. I think maybe just Kelly didn't put it in yet. Okay, so it's like probably about like nineteen I, I nineteen I don't want to get nineteen six hundred or something like that. It's up a little bit. We do have it. Mark provided it, but I think Kelly just didn't get a chance to put it in, so I'll update it and just confirm it. There's nothing we really can do with that. I mean my personal opinion is for the service we get for the cemetery and what it looks. I mean, it's a local guy. Yeah. So, I'm mm -hmm. downstairs to me. Um, I'm putting my belief, not much to do with that. Um, Police Department, but we can do it. So Regional yeah. Association is. I'm not really sure um, what the regional associations are. Probably have to ask Chuck, um, but I suspect that's another thing that is probably, um, I don't know, it's contractual, maybe? It may be zero for I can ask Chuck about that, though. No, she, please depart in the state for the level, and that's what happened. That was actually pretty good. Should I have two police officers? Um, so... So the police department is um, actually at the slightly under the budget, um, and um, they, they do have um, proposed increases that are um, an effort to bring them closer to um, My position on, on that is um, we have a real issue with approving retention. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just recently brought in two new officers. Actually, we've been running on a staff of three. 
um, and they just haven't been able to find people. They recently brought in a couple of people. Um, we just spent money to get them. Right. So they get they go. Right. Okay. Um, so it's really yeah. Just read. I'm sorry. Um, so I will share with you, Jack, um, the wage Please survey yep. that um, John provided the statewide wage survey um, mm -hmm. that kind of helped me understand. Um, where they are in line with other um, communities. Um, so I don't have an issue with this budget because it is level. Um, we do have our and retention issues. We have a wage survey, a complete wage survey. They have job descriptions and performance reviews. Um, so this is the one department um, that does do annual performance reviews. Um, I don't know of others, um, but I do know that I had this discussion with the former chief and the current chief, and they um, do have um, what I've been asking for for years. Well, I listened to his presentation the last time he was in there. I thought it was very good. I, I got to digest a little bit more. Um, I agree with what you said. I agree that the only thing I'll say is we should personal opinion is bringing the salaries up to you know twenty two fifty or even if they if they want to find another job it doesn't pay they will they're gonna stay people are gonna stay because they like the town they like being a police officer they pay them this money but any one of these student candidates if they want to make more money they're gonna, as soon as they become after that three year contract they can be gone in more time of this so I don't want to just judge. I want to give them money, but I want to judge them you know, the fact they're going to stay because we can still get nice bonuses. And after their three years, you know, they can be making say twenty bucks an hour, and someone like Dover's going to offer forty, which stinks for us. So I think. But it's assuming performance reviews, too. Correct. That's why we're giving them. Yes. Um, right. So I think that um, it's a three-year contract, I believe. Um, so I think yes. Three-year contract, so they contracted for three years um, after they finished the academy. Okay. So they committed to us for three years. Well, um, they are and they aren't. I mean, they're committed, but we got a we got a officer who started to the three-year contract and about just past year two. He got off a position with Durham. Yeah. Not the exact money, but yeah. Give up the last year of his contract. I'm going to just pull a number out of the old account for you. He was willing to do that. So, they are the three of them. So, that's the arrangement you have that if they leave, they get to pay that portion of that. There's a, there's a, there's a, I can't tell you the exact specific yeah, yeah, contract. It's for three years. They get paid X amount. And if they leave, they're a penalty. They're a penalty. I'm not paying for the academy. Right, that's what I meant. Yeah. So, um, do we have any questions for the police department? Well, we agreed on body body cameras, and that's something that we're going to find, so there's no problem with that. Right. So the, the IT data storage, it's data storage for the cameras. Um, I don't know. So, although, you know, uh, I feel like um, if you, there was a time where anything over, I think it was $10,000, is considered a capital money, and also we mm -hmm. had to have longevity. Um, and the town's kind of gotten away from major purchases, um, in some cases being capital. Um, I think typically would have said this should be capital item, but it's he's found the money in his budget this year um, to make that happen. So I, I don't necessarily. You no, know, I think you know. Well, I think actually, the other thing is you know increasing. Training is not a bad thing, especially in today's world. Um, yeah, still got to scrutinize it because I don't think there's anything I want. I don't think there's anything we can actually pull out of here. Yeah, you, you that's in fact story. If you're going to do the body cams and that other stuff, you need to do it. Actually, let me see. Hold on a second. I got to look at something because I don't see the body cams. It's not on this. It's on this. Well, 
Yeah, it's uh, on no, the Catholic. No, it's on Catholic. Well, it's on the CIP? I'm sorry, hang on. It's, um, it's, it's, it's actually, it's a capital cost, but <coughs> they don't have any dollars allocated for it for 2022. Um, it's actually, oh, it is coming out of CIP, though. Is it? How much is it? But it's already in their school. 25000 So it doesn't sound right. I'm sure it is, but it just. Uh, let's just. That's I think we just need to confirm that with. Um, yeah. Office. I'm going to add that. inspection and whoever, whatever, they, I guess maybe it's CJ, um, whoever is one of the people that work for the company doing the inspections back then to it. Seriously? Was that just <laughs> this week? Um, $2,300. And that's the second newest vehicle that we have. Um, so that's paid for by somebody that's going to pay for by insurance. So, um, so, so I worked with um, John on this budget, and yep. um, you know I appreciate that he was very conscious about not increasing the budget and being creative about reallocating um, his mm -hmm. staff and funding. Um, so I I don't have to do this, um, but feel free. To I will. I mean, I want to. I mean, it's, it's got to be something. I don't mean it's got to be something, but it's got to be something. But, um, no, but John, John has, there's been several instances where he's, he's been innovative. It's, you know, instead of saying $700, he's come with a cost by 340 because he's, he's done a lot of research. And that goes, yeah. a, long, that goes a long way. There is an error on this budget, though. I just noticed it. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh. Yeah, um, because the approved appropriation is six hundred and twenty three dollars and six hundred and eighty six thousand six hundred and twenty three thousand six hundred and eighty six. The difference between the proposed and the approved from what is not minus thirty four thousand nine hundred and six. It's really nine hundred and six. So it's a really a zero percent increase. And I fixed this in the spreadsheet, but I think oh I fixed it in the spreadsheet that Caroline sent me, yep. but the PDF she had generated didn't have a fix in it. Because it looks like it. So it really is $906. Difference? Difference, yep. Mm -hmm. Negative 906. Okay. So, um, but I have the spreadsheet um, to make the changes, so I'll make sure that the next copy is fixed. So, speaking of spreadsheet, who is it? Is there only one person who has permissions of it? Yeah. I signed up to do um, the, the revenue and the budget spreadsheets, yep. um, but it's accessible to all of us. I guess what I'm asking is, is there, is there somebody can get into it, like say me, yeah. if I'm not super, I'll be the first person to say I'm not super uh, good at selling. So if someone like me, could I get into that school? Or is, well, and that's why exactly why Caroline sent me a copy and said you should really maintain this one copy, copy okay. as the source. Okay. So, so that's what you have to like, ask. I, I, I think that's the right way to go. That's okay. fine. Because if I have one that I can manipulate and it doesn't do anything, I'm fine with that. I don't want to be doing something. Well, so you can copy it over. Yeah. You can, yeah. But, um, so her recommendation was keep one source and then give you guys PDFs to look at, which okay. is fine. Um, I don't mind, but I can I can change the permissions on it to make you commenters. Okay. So you can make a comment if you can change it. You're, you're totally comfortable with it for that. Okay. Just check you out. You're totally comfortable with yep. that. Yep. Jack, are you good with this stuff too? Okay, good. Um, okay. So I um, comment about salaries for fire. Um, you know, again, you know, we, we just really don't have a lot of data to go on. Um, I like black and blue. Okay. 
Just so at least we understand. I understand. Sure. I think that's possible. Sure. I don't know what I can say that. But the one thing, the one thing, Mark. Again, we don't understand the whole thing, so it's a little confusing. One thing that he tried to adjust, and you know, it was brought up. that like, the regular fire guys were making less. Like, the firefighters, that, so to speak, had no rank. We make less than minimum wage in the of fires. So we tried to adjust the point system somehow that they were getting a better wage. That was talked about by the food in the past board, but it's still unclear how that how that solidified that everybody like like say twenty five fighters were making five dollars and fifty cents, but now they're making seven fifty. So I'm not sure how they did that, if they took the less points away from the tenants and stuff, but he said he tried to make it at least minimum wage or if he just increased the point system for money, I'm not sure. That's something So I guess my question is they have determined that it ends up being like seven dollars and fifty cents an hour. Cents an hour. Yeah. But how, so that must mean that point converts to some number of hours. Right. Or something. So that's really... You know? Each point is an hour. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. And then some people with more responsibility, as Nikki said... People with two hours or three hours. What would well, have more points for that first hour mm -hmm. to, Correct. to recognize their I mean, responsibility? It's not a, it's that less he said it was very complicated. <laughs> um, so, uh, so I, I, I hope it's that I don't simple. mean to know that, but I'd like to know the concept and what it feels. Sure. That's what I'd like to know. Um, so I, I'll, I made a note to ask him, and maybe Sean will be nice enough to put together a PowerPoint for us, because um, he's really good at that. Um, I just, I just get concerned when we hear about, like, the engine number one, and mm -hmm. God, it. I thought it would be able to put $50,000 in that, just to grow quick. Right, right. And, you know, um, having looked at capital, we don't have to think about what's coming down the pipe. Can I ask a question here, please, uh, for application to you? Can I go down and meet with him and see what goes on in the bottom line? Absolutely. We did that. You can, you can. I mean, I, I want to actually meet with all the departments. You can, you can do that and do stuff. You just can't do any of it. Unless we like, you can't do any of it. Like, you can't get the like, like, you can't. I'm not, I'm not looking for the No, I, I just, you can get as much information. I want to understand what's going on. You can get as much information as you want. And we would, well, I would encourage it. Yeah. Especially like talking to George. Yeah. Ed has a really good handle of transfer stations. Yeah. I don't want to say there's not a lot going on there, but he seems to have a good handle on what's going on. Both of them did that. Yeah, yeah like, please do it. I'd like to do In fact, that. I wish I did more of going and seeing what we're talking about. Just would like to understand what's going on. I'm yep. not looking to give them guidance. I'm just going to do the trick. I think, as we understood it, that um, they, we can only give them direction as a board, but we can ask all the questions in the world. That's the clarification. Right? Yep. And then the other thing that they did recently, I don't know, for the last couple of years, they started a uh, liaison, a, a board liaison with each of the departments. It was last year? This year? Oh, okay. Um, so that's the other Yeah. Well, we could always be voting on that, too. Right. Um, what I'm going to suggest, though... Jack would be the though, perfect liaison for fire. Sure. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> what I'm going to suggest is, next, not just not right now, but next week, mm -hmm. we vote on who wants to serve, who's going to serve on what, Please. and what positions we want to take from the board. Sure. Okay? Does that yeah. sound good? I'll make a note of that. Building my book. One thing I find, like I was talking to Jay Stevens today about the transfer station, and I find you always can make something else strong. Always. Yep. Oh, when you meet so many different avenues. When, when, you, when you meet with the people, you, you find out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You know more than you. There's some very, very well educated, very well known residents in the town. You know, we stopped picking their brains like the guy I was dealing with. I shouldn't say Gail, Bill Moore and Mike. He had a really good knowledge of a lot of stuff. He just didn't kind of pick it out. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to ask you to 
Thompson made a note of that um, I'll try to do it um, so I'm going to mark the heads up early on so um, we can kind of compare some Sean does extremely well job of setting the last one in the between him and Mark will put forth what they want. That's great. Um, so, what do we got, Maggie? I don't see it. What's up with the tanks? We got the SDR uh, tanks. Yeah, it's very dark. Mark, that's what they just. I just installed and Kim was asking about the warranty on it. Um, so I think Joe will schedule the next meeting for that. Um, so we need to, that will be part of the money too is, um, so I filled in on um, last week for that as a temporary ex officio. Um, but we need to determine, you know, a more permanent solution for that. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to appoint have to be, it's usually the chair, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Mm -hmm. um, we have to determine the chair now. Planning. Yeah, that's what we're going to do next week. Well, chair and a vice chair. Yeah. Um, we'll bring the hands. <laughs> planning. <laughs> <laughs> right, planning. Uh, yes. That's right. So I actually started to make Oh, planning. And then, you know, rec. We don't necessarily have someone on rec. They say I'd be able to. Um, it's a good idea to have someone go right. out, out. So yeah. it's like four or five. So I'm gonna, I'm running that one. I mean, I'm not running that one. I'm going to agree. Excellent. So why don't Select board official for that. So let me just, why don't I list them yep. so that we can uh, have mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. to, to ponder between okay. now and next week. So, right down to so this storm water mm -hmm. planning. CIP. CIP. Budget. Rack. You're on rush now, right? Yes. Storm water. Lamprey. 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 Oh. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a there. I don't think there is either. Yeah. But I think Caroline is. You probably want to have somebody on. Jody, weren't you on Lamprey? Oh, it's. Stratford Regional Planning Commission. Yes. Was that before? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was before. Yeah. 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 We've always had a select board member. I'm just trying to think if Miles was on. Mm -hmm. Or Stratford Regional? Stratford. No, Suzanne was. Yeah. Suzanne. And yeah, there are it. two slots available for Lawrence. Only one, her group is the only one that's on the, working on the traffic. Uh, okay. So it was Suzanne. Really good was that like once a month? No, it's once a month. Yeah, it's I once think a it's. Friday morning. I think Jack can really good. I can say. Um, well, it would be a good thing. There is, there is a. You get to know. I, I can't even think of the name of Kitty, but there's a, there's a committee that's a trans over from Stormwater Plan. Joint loss? Joint loss. There's a joint loss as well. Oh, that, yeah. Jody was on that. Unfortunately, um, the, the meetings are going to be like one. Jody was on joint loss. I was. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, at the time it was kind of like a catch-all for um, a fading picture when the MSD book is updated, making sure the fire inspection. Freedom. 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 So we have, um, so currently, um, so Paul's on Rec and Stormwater, and I'm on Highway, um, and then we have openings for, so we currently have openings for planning, CIP, budget. So we can reassess the whole thing, and we can figure out how to fill those gaps. And 
no, no, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind taking one of you. We'll talk about it. I don't mind taking the CIP or budget or even one of the three. So remember, we're coming into budget season. Right. It's a big commitment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I say it's a big commitment. Like you have. Mm -hmm. Probably four or five budget meetings. We'll have to talk about that. Budget might be a That might be a topic. Spring. Yeah, in the spring. Yeah. Yeah. If you have 13 in a year and they need quarterly, that's crazy. They need 10. So you have um, all your department presentations and then you have your own delivery. I sat on it for a couple of years. Yeah. 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 Yeah, now I think about it. Was a, there was a couple of long Saturday meetings. This is yeah. the this is the time that you're doing it almost every week. We'll talk about it. We'll see. Okay. Maybe, right. I mean, budget will probably be the most time consumed every week. Okay. CIP so, not as bad. Okay. Are we good with the um, <laughs> wait, is there, is there any? Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, drought. Yeah, drought. Yeah, I, 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 thought you, I thought you said drought. No, no, drought. We can do that. If, if there is any restrictions. I just read that. Right. Yeah, the whole state's pretty much out of drought restrictions now. So if there is any, I didn't think we still had drought yeah, we restrictions, have, we but we do. We should, we'll, yeah. Um, so I was going to put that on the agenda. Um, the other thing I want to put on the agenda is that the board um, consider moving forward um, with um, MRI, imaging MRI, um, both in, with recruitment um, package and also um, the interim time administrator. Yep. Yeah. And I think. Yes, I agree with that. I, mean, I think that we can move forward with that, but also we need very soon we need to move forward with the job description. I won't bother to tell them that get that out. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we as a board are talking about. Mm -hmm. you know, my assumption is that it's a 40 hour a week job. Maybe, maybe like 24 hour. I think the, the what was it with them? Forty. Yeah. I think with the interim oh, administrator, we can also kind of get a feel, um, like a, an objective evaluation of our needs. Right. Um, so if we, so we got an email um, from an MRI saying, Google, right? Google, Google, Google. saying um, that the former police chief for Portsmouth. And former town administrator for Rye, um, Mike, Mike Wagner, I think, um, is available. Um, so I think if we start with that and get his um, opinion of you know what we really need to have to um, cover all of the responsibilities, I think that would also help us out. Okay. Yeah, I'm that. So I want to put that on the agenda. Yep. Um, so we've got that. Oh. Um, the town land So are, are we saying we're going to do this? Do we bring this guy in and talk to him? Um, we can certainly schedule him to come in. Okay. I mean, I think, I, I, um, I think we need someone. So it, yeah, I know. I'm not saying we don't. We absolutely do need someone. It's just, it's I don't, I don't want to have, I don't think you believe that. I don't want to have a person that's in it. It's just a temp, temp for like a couple months to get suitable. We don't want to have someone that's permanently in temp. Right. Both as a high position. Yeah. So, we need a job description, we need to talk to this guy, and then we get, I don't know, we need to use a headhunt this, but we get to get him. Find the right person. Well, they offer recruiting services as well, so I can ask them. That's what I'd like to tell them. Yeah. yeah. Sure. That's great. Can okay. we get to that next time? Um, yeah, I'll ask. Well, we have a lot coming to We could do a special meeting, um, you know, a very special meeting to. Meet with him for like an hour. Oh, yeah, we have time to do it. We'll just have to pick a date. Yeah. Um, I think most, I think most nights work for me. Um, they're easier when they're like target meetings versus three hour meetings. Yeah, no, that don't, yeah. I agree. Um, I'll also put it on the agenda, but I'll reach out to him and ask him about his availability. And then you were going to bring up. Yep, um, and then so, oh, um, the town land survey proposal for civil consultants that we received this week, we probably need to have them come in. Can talk to Jason and stay about it? Um, yeah, we could. Um, is, it, is it becoming urgent? Do we need to address that sooner or later? I know we need to address it, but can it Not be? sooner, it can be later. Okay, so we can hold on to that a little bit. Okay, so yep. we can find out that. Yep. Okay. And then I think the only other thing I had um, was I want to um, put an agenda item um, out to consider modification of the mask mandate for select so board meetings um, to be optional for fully vaccinated um, people. Yeah, and I'm okay with that too. I just read that the comments down. We'll do that. Obviously, but we'll mandate it that this could be shut that can change again if cases yeah. are crazy going up. So I read the municipal guidance on it, and it wasn't hard and fast. Um, one of the things that they said made it possible to be a little flexible is that um, offering Zoom meetings and alternative um, ways of allowing the public to participate. So I thought we would put that on the agenda. Yep. You know, 
for next week, have a discussion about it. Um, and and but it, it has I can't I don't think that we should change it for the whole building. I think that we should consider changing it for this meeting. Because changing it for the whole building I think has a, a different different impact. So, no, I got to think about that too. You know, I think, I, yeah, so think I think it. if we change it, we change it for the whole building. Mm -hmm. Like uh, because what other what are other towns doing? Yeah. Okay, you, well, how I understand it, it's pretty much loosey goosey, but a lot of towns, I'm talking to Hampshire, I'm calling them yeah. a lot of towns have um, basically the same if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask, but if you're not, you wear a mask. And it's kind of you know, on the honor system. I think that's how New Hampshire is operating. Yes. You know? um, and um, uh, Debbie, oh, actually, Jody works for a new school, right? In Rochester, they, um, the staff, if you show, you can wear it voluntarily. If you show your vaccine card, you don't want to wear it. You have to give your vaccine card to HR in, in the choice of not to wear a mask. Um, all of the residents do not have to be masked. Um, the, it is optional, and masks are available along with sanitation and everything else. But if you are me, you have to show your vaccination card to Unmasked. Interesting. So, I just want to make sure I understand what I'm saying. The policy is the general public doesn't have to be masked, but it should still be vaccinated, right? They didn't have a policy they, about they can't vaccinated or unvaccinated coming? No. Is it for, I just want to make sure. For, they, that's for residents I'm coming in to do their car registration, yep. they do not have to be masked. We ask them to mask. But they don't have to. Okay. Um, for a staff, I got that. an employee, they do have to show the vaccination card. Okay. So I have some in my department that are not willing to show a card or are not vaccinated and have to wear a mask, and others that have been vaccinated and do not wear a mask all day. So the federal government, or at least the federal government as a whole, we have to wear masks. Are So, and then at some point in the near future, it's going to be mandated that all government employees, are, I think, are everywhere, get, get the vaccination. Okay. So, um, so those are what I'm proposing for agenda items for the next yeah, meeting, I'm good with that. which is Monday at 6 o'clock, yep. um, as long as we're in agreement, because I also signed up to kind of manage the agenda. Um, I don't mind that. Okay. No, send it and then, I mean, send it to me and Jack and then, Yeah, I'll definitely share the document. And like, like, tonight's not a real meeting, but I'm going to call Dan tomorrow and hopefully he has a, uh, someone has gave him a clear pass to register those vehicles, you know, the vehicles registered and stuff, because I don't want that to be right now. I might make a call, I'll let you guys know. Oh, you mean CJ? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so, I don't... Have um, anything else? I think we're good. So I'll take care of the agenda update. Um, I'll share it and um, also, Jack, once you're sworn in, can you know, just um, send a note to one of us so we can share documents with you for the Generally speaking, Absolutely. Um, oh, I need to get with Chuck, uh, make sure Jack is added to that email group as well. Yeah, let me know about that. Too. So, so who's the, who's the town clerk? Um, Dan Colony. Does he need to be on stage? Uh, he's here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He just hours. Uh, tomorrow is a afternoon. Yeah. As is Thursday. Monday is Yeah, four. Monday and Friday is morning. So tomorrow Nine, nine is to one, and is it one, one two? One to six. One to six. So he's here tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's two to six because um, right, it's four so hours a day. It's one to six. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. I have to register my car tomorrow. So I like it. So we said the website does. So he's doing one twenty-one. I think. Yeah. 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 Ye
I guess so you know, put your wife in the gap, the name for it. Oh, that'd be wonderful. I put a note there. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a nice chunk, but if you were volunteering, that'd be wonderful. I'm the one who made it. This was a great thing. And it should be saved, Jack. Yeah. Uh, we'll ask. We'll all have a school yeah. desk. Okay. Yeah. So it's my email and phone. Jack, how would you want to let your name to me? Oh, Jack. Jack. Um, so I'm just going to see if there's public input and then we'll adjourn. Um, uh, oh, um, so there's a couple people online. Um, do we have any public input before we adjourn? Dennis, do you have any public input? You'll have to unmute. Uh, this is Carrie Boyle. I, I do not. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dennis, do you have any public input? Mm -hmm. I'll take the oh, silence as a no. Yes. Thank you. send out a link to it um, and ideally it's nice if we can share that link um, I like that I try to share it on social media a couple times just to make people aware of the topics so if they want to attend you know, they can I just have to make that my weekly, my weekly thing as I do the agenda so. um, one thing we need to consider that we're meeting on Monday um, and we need to have these budget numbers finalized um, by um, I can check with John Borgley so, yeah. to see if that, I, I, do we know when the next meeting is? I'll check with him. Right. Yes. Yeah, we'll on the I, I told us it's one night for some reason, but don't go over there now. I just said another bit. Yes. Oh, they're meeting. He's yes. meeting, yeah. they're meeting on the 29th. 29th. Right. What was then, then what's the one year for them? Um, if, we, if we need to deliver the, any potential teams, yeah. So, which so what we could do is if we had to the money, but we need, like I said, I like keep for like two hours and maybe that's If we don't get done two hours, which we should, Tuesday. we should always finish Tuesday. Yep. So I, have quick, I have a quick meeting yeah. on Tuesday. But we got posted uh, 24 hours or something. So we got to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that sound good? Yep, that's good. Alright, so... You could do a potential. Oh, and then cancel? Yeah, maybe we'll do that just in case. Um, so if we're all doing public, does anybody have any more before I end the meeting? Nope.